Hi guys, welcome back to Golden Reviewer. Today, what I have here with me is the OnePlus Nord N10. This is a budget device with Snapdragon 690 processor. And this particular one I got is uh, of 6 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of ROM. This device costs less than 400 Singapore dollars here in Singapore. So I think it's uh, quite solid and it is a very good value for money device. So today I will test the Genshin Impact game on highest settings on it. So those of you who wants to buy this device and who plays Genshin Impact, can um, hopefully this video can help you to make a decision and to uh, have an idea of what to expect from. Just like all my tests, uh, I'll show you the graphic settings here. I've set everything to highest and enabled 60 FPS. Okay, I'll use a perf dock to record the FPS during my 10 minutes gameplay. I'll show the full 10 minutes gameplay here and together with the real time FPS. And uh, you can also fast forward to the end of the video to have a look at the final result. Uh, so I will include the full FPS and power recording and do a short analysis towards the end of the video. Okay, here we go. behind schedule.
agenda. We're way behind schedule. on the agenda.
Okay, so the performance of this device, while not amazing, uh, is actually quite consistent and stable. So it can maintain somewhere around 20 to 30 FPS throughout the 10 minutes gameplay. And uh, eventually we have an average of 25.3 FPS. Of course, you can't really compare this to those uh, $1,000 flagships, right? Those uh, which can achieve uh, 50 or even close to 60 FPS. Uh, but I think for its value, for its, for its price, uh, this performance is actually good enough. And uh, I think if you lower the graphics settings, you can have a very playable 30, 40 FPS performance. And uh, I'm, overall, I'm quite happy with this. Uh, if we look at the power consumption, the overall average is uh, 4.3 watt, which is uh, quite reasonable. After 10 minutes of gameplay, the device does not overheat. Uh, it does heat up a bit, it, it feels warm, but it's not very hot, it's not like uh, burning hot, right? So uh, it's quite reasonable. I, I think the, the thermal management here is also quite good. But I do notice the, uh, some instability in the power consumption. You can see here at uh, uh, 3 minutes and at 8 minutes there are a sudden a rise in the power consumption. I don't know why it's there. The performance uh, is the same, the FPS is the same. I'm playing at the same area. By right, the load should be the same, but I don't know why it suddenly use a little bit more power. So I think this is definitely something that can be improved by optimization. Uh, also, if you consider the fact that this device has a 4,300 mAh battery, uh, simple math will tell us that uh, at these settings and this performance, it can play the game for 3.8 hours before the battery is drained. All right. So um, I think the, the estimated battery life is also quite decent. Okay. All right, guys, there you have it. Uh, the Genshin Impact game test on OnePlus Nord N10. Okay. Uh, if, you like, if you like my content, please give me a thumb up, uh, share it to your friends, and also remember to subscribe. Okay. See you next time.